Tessa, an educator performer at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. And even though we're practicing social distancing, we can still learn how to make this amazing lemon volcano. Mm. Now, this volcano gets its explosive power from the chemical reaction that comes from combining an acid and a base. But what is an acid? What is a base? And why is their combination so cataclysmic? Acid means sour in Latin, and they are. Lemons and other citric fruits are acidic, as well as vinegar and some other sour foods that you might like to eat. But not all acids are tasty. Some are very dangerous. There are even acids that can burn right through glass. Now, the reason a compound is acidic has to do with the atoms that make it up. Acids are compounds which contain ions, such as hydrogen atoms, mm. that are just too positive. A base, on the other hand, has components such as hydroxide ions mm. that are way too negative. Now, for more information on this, check out some of the resources in the description. Mm. Basic compounds can be just as dangerous as acids and could burn or hurt you. But they're also great in the kitchen. Baking soda, a base, is used in cakes. Mm -hmm. And soap, our very favorite hand-washing base, is super important right now. When an acid and a base come in contact... <laughs> the super positive part of the acid combines with the negative part of the base to make something new. Kind of like how the positive end of a magnet wants to stick to the negative end of another magnet. So, instead of having an acid and a base, in this case, citric acid and baking soda, we have super fizzy carbon dioxide, just like in soda, and water. So now, let's learn how to make this lemon volcano so you can catalyze your own reactions. The items you'll need for this experiment are baking soda, a lemon, a cup, some food coloring if you want, a sharp knife, a spoon, and a butter knife. So, first things first. Ask a grown-up to help you cut off the top and the bottom of your lemon. I like to cut off a little bit more of one side than the other, but just enough so that it can stand up. Then, take your butter knife and cut around the edges of your lemon. I try to cut in the white part to leave a whole lot of room in the center. This frees up some of the juices and makes our next step a little bit easier. So for our next step, squeeze the lemon juice into your cup. At this stage, I like to add some of the food coloring. Let's go with some blue. Stir it up. Wow, what a lovely color. And set that aside for later. At this point, you can use your spoon to try to get out a lot of this lemony stuff from the center. But sometimes I think it's easier just to use your hands. You can set that aside. It's almost time for the experiment. Add some baking soda to your lemon. Then, pour in the lemon juice we saved from earlier. And voila! Lemon Volcano! Thanks so much for joining me for this experiment. Remember to check out all of the additional resources in the description, and make sure to look at all the other great content from hashtag DMNS Science Party.